What is up, you guys? Pete DiCarlo here, Traders Helping Traders, and today we're going to be doing an update on Palantir. And volatility is the word of the day, not only for the entire market, but for Palantir in itself. We're going to go over Palantir. We're going to talk about the market in general, maybe look at some other tickers to keep your eye on. And also, if you notice the name change from my name, Peter DiCarlo, to DiCarlo Capital, um, I did this because... This is becoming a lot more of a trading channel. It used to be like an overall investment channel, like for real estate as well. But you guys know, if you've been following for a bit, that I am obsessed with entrepreneurship. I'm obsessed with business building. And I want to start a channel called Peter DiCarlo that is just business building. One to two videos a week, long term, teaching you guys all of that. So that is what we're going to focus on going into the rest of 2022. Nothing changes here. Same content, same quality, same everything, but just a little name change. Hit the like button before we get into this video, guys. Hit the notification bell because all these videos are time sensitive. Hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything and check out our Discord. It's completely free. Link in the description. You guys get access to tons of free courses, live streams, seminars, webinars. We have over 5,000 people within our group and you guys can also get access to all of the free resources that we have here like our technical analysis and options bot this is a 200 dollars bot that we pay for through trading ticks that we give it away for free no other trading community gives this type of stuff away for free and our goal is just to make the best trading community in 2020 guys go check it out let's take a look at palantir what a day. Like, what a day. Before we look at Palantir, let's just go over the market, first of all. Early this morning, S&P 500 took a major crap. I think the market was down 2% at one point. And this is one thing that I talk a lot about with you guys every day is these thin areas of volume on the volume profile. Look how fast we were able to break through support, come down, tap, and then completely recover, which I'll be honest, I was not expecting a complete recovery. Same thing with the NASDAQ, completely dropped, bounce on this heavy area of volume, and then now we completely recovered, actually end of the day green, and same situation with the Dow. Palantir this morning was looking bad. I mean, it's still i'm not gonna lie it's still not looking hot right now we uh broke through that major support a couple days ago couldn't get back through at 17 we fell to like literally the last little line of support uh, down here at 15 this is it like if we snap 15 like it is going very fast down to 10 or 11 dollars so i am you know ultimately happy that i sold my my trading position this is not, if you're a long-term investor, you should not be worried about this. But from a trading perspective and a trading standpoint, I'm very happy I sold my position for sure. Very thin area on the volume profile. I wouldn't be surprised if we did completely recover back up here and get over 1750, like I've been saying for a bit. But as of right now, RSI is still pointing down, MACD is still pointing down, cross, TTM is squeezing. But like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if we push back up. But what I did well, what I was thinking about doing was selling it very far out of the money cash secured put like I did with SoFi today. SoFi, I sold a very far out of the money cash secured put on this. I will probably make a video on this tomorrow. But SoFi and Palantir kind of have the same setup where they're down below all time major support. The biggest difference is that SoFi has not fully broken and held below the way that Palantir has. So Palantir, we are under this support. We have actually made like the lowest low that we have made since the major breakout all the way back in November of 2020. But at this point, we are still trying to hold this level. If we give up, like I said, $15 and we close below this multiple sessions, we will literally be in some trouble. I mean, it's still not looking hot now, like I said, but we really will be in some trouble. Now, let's talk about dark pools today. A lot of dark pool orders came through. 38 million, 8 million, 4 million, 4 million, 5 million, 9 million, 15 million, 7 million. A lot of buys came through today, especially in the back half of the day, starting at basically 1234. Now, what you have to realize here is that these are probably buys. I'm not sure about the last one that came through at 224 for 38 million, but the rest of these are definitely buys. As they came through, Palantir popped, continued to run, continued to run. So big money did step in today and did buy this up and we saw this hammer doji here that we're holding on to right now so this could be the bottom this could be the bottom this could be priced in but for me like i said i am i don't have enough conviction to be taking this trade anymore and that's why i ended up exiting it but big money did buy this up and they are holding it so only time will tell if you really want to start a position if you're not in palantir i personally believe the best way to do so is selling a cash secured put 
down to $15. The IV is huge right now, and this means that you are going to get some fat premiums for the week. Uh, that's like what I did on SoFi, but I'll explain that position tomorrow. Guys, thanks for all the support. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out the Discord. You can upgrade to get access to all of my trades. Today alone, uh, we made about $450. Thanks for all the support, guys. Have a great day. Peace.